Hey guys, how are you? So today I am back with a Tea With Soap video and I decided that I was going to do a bit of a Q&A today. Um, it's been something that's been quite requested so I decided why not to do it. So today I'm doing a long distance relationships Q&A. I thought it would be just quite a good thing to talk about because quite a lot of people go through this and obviously I am doing right now. So I have some questions from like a long distance relationship Q&A kind of tag thing but then I also have some questions that you the viewers have asked and um, yes so I just decided to answer them all in this Q&A. The first one is how long have we been in a long distance relationship for? Um, the answer to that is we have been together for eight months um, and we were in a long distance relationship, pretty much most of our relationship. This will be from around a month later. I think it was probably about the 15th of September. So it's been most of our relationship that we've been long distance. A question that's linking to that is what is your current long distance situation? So basically I'm at university down south. Uh, Sam is at university in Manchester. Um, we are <laughs> very far apart, literally like the opposite ends, um, well near enough the opposite ends. So it takes us on a train about five and a half hours, but it's very, very expensive. So we normally get like the mega bus or the coach and that normally takes around eight eight hours. However, Sam is in his last year, so he'll be leaving in a few months um, and most likely coming back home. However, it will still be, you know, long distance because I'm still quite far away from home where I am at university, where I will be for the next two years. Um, even if he's still at home, you know, it's still five or so hours away from each other. And obviously currently, because um, Samuel's doing his final exams and stuff, so he's really busy. Um, so it's been, I'm seeing him this weekend and that'll be three weeks since we would have last seen each other, yeah, three weeks. So compared to a lot of long distance relationships, we see each other a lot. Um, however, it is still tough, like not seeing him for two weeks and stuff when I just like wish he was there every day. Okay, so the next question is, what's one benefit of being in a long distance relationship? It's definitely having your own space and your own time. Um, you're not constantly surrounded by the person because sometimes that can be a bit like, oh, let's give me some space, you know, so um, i say that's one benefit of being in a long distance relationship, but then equally, you can also have so much of your own time that you're just like, oh, I just want to be with them, um, yeah. The next question is, what are some things you found most difficult about being in a long distance relationship? For me personally, I went through a bit of a struggle, a bit of a blip with uni, which I mentioned in one of my other videos, where I was just really unsure, um, it made me feel really down, and I was just like, oh, I just... I just want to be at home, you know, I don't want to be here. Um, so it's very difficult not having like Samuel there. I've got a few friends who are like, um, like who are together on my course or who have met someone at the university, so they're like together all the time. And so it's quite hard seeing other couples and stuff because it makes me think, oh, I wish Samuel was here. The next question is, tell us about a romantic or happy moment in your relationship. Me and Samuel have a lot of happy moments in our relationship. Sam booked us a really nice table at this like amazing restaurant in Manchester for um, Valentine's Day. That was lovely. And that was like our first Valentine's Day together. So I guess that was probably like a romantic moment. Anytime we go to visit each other is always a happy moment. Like seeing Samuel get off the train or when he sees me get off the train, like that's just like obviously a really happy moment. And, like the first like hug when like we first see each other after how many weeks. That's a very happy moment. <laughs> yeah, just being back together and just like being able to like sit together and just chat like in person again. Um, yeah, just wh whenever we're together after we don't see each other for a bit, they're the happy moments like that we've, we're like finally together again. Do you have any word of advice for other people in long distance relationships? The biggest piece of advice I'd probably give you is you need to not let your insecurities get in the way. You will, to be honest, you will only know if you can survive a long distance relationship if you want, like when, when you do a long distance relationship. I mean, I never thought I'd get into a long distance relationship. You know, last year when I like met Sam, well, I met him previously, but when we like met and started like talking and stuff and meeting up, I was so not looking for a relationship or anything. I thought, you know, I'm gonna go to uni. It'd be really hard to keep a relationship going. I just wanna go and focus on my like studies and things and not worry about that. And I was like totally not looking for a relationship at all. And that was when like Samuel came along and I genuinely thought, you know, if this goes anywhere, I'm fine with that. Like, I, it didn't even bother me that we would have to do long distance because I thought, you know what? I really want to be with this person and you need to want it be positive about it. I like cry every time me and Sam have to leave each other again, um, just because I'm a massive wimp. When, you, when you're together, 
try and book the next time you'll see each other like book a train or book a hotel or even just plan when it'll be because then you have something to look forward to and like instead of seeing it as how many days since you last saw the person see it as how many days till you next see them like till you next have this like nice thing you're planning and also communication is key communication is well it's the only way you will survive and um, we're so lucky in this day and age that we have like facebook and twitter and facetime and imessage and skype and all of these that we can we're able to do relationships um, where we don't see each other for a long while because literally we're just so connected. Me and Sam tag each other on, in things on Facebook a lot of the time and it's just nice to kind of feel like you're with that person because by doing that it's kind of like, it's, it's almost as if like you're showing the person next to you, do you know what I mean? So like if he was here and I saw something on Facebook, I'd show him. Because we, we can't do that, we like tag each other in things and it's just nice, it's just another way of, you know, sharing things. I might be on my lunch break when Sam's in class and it's, it just doesn't really work. So we speak more in the evenings. However, again, I would have work and Sam would have like football and stuff. So it is hard, but then it means that the conversation is nicer. Like if I've been having a really busy day where I barely can go on my phone and then that night, like when I finally do sit down to text him or call him, it's so nice because it's like, oh, I've missed you all day, you know? Don't feel like you have to constantly be in contact because you know like do you as well like, I think the busy busier you keep yourself as well the easier it is because the quicker the time goes and you're not just sitting around like waiting for things to do and then it causes you to miss them more so then I had um, some questions from viewers the first question was what is it like to be in a long distance relationship I think being in a long distance relationship there's a lot of things that you get as a couple that you don't get with being in a relationship where you see each other every day. When we're in, when we're like doing the long distance and stuff, because we're literally with each other for like one and a half, two days, I feel the need to like make the most of the time. And in a way that makes it nicer and more romantic, I guess, because we really like cherish each other's, each other's time together and we don't take it for granted. Me and Samuel literally like count the seconds of each day when we're together because like I say, you just need to make the most of it. We're always like, oh, I need to get up early, you know, like make the most of the days. We never do. We set their alarm for like eight in the morning and it, we never get up ever at it. But like we see it as, even if we wake up at eight in the morning and then we laze around for two hours, it's still like time together, if that makes sense. So, um, so yeah, I think like time management and the way you make the most of the time you have. Another question was, how do you get over trust issues when you start a long distance relationship? With me and Samuel, I don't think there was ever really any issue with worrying about trust. I mean, if you're constantly thinking like, oh, you know, maybe they'll meet someone else. If you're like that, you will drive yourself into some big deep hole of fear and worry, and it will just constantly eat you up until you can just do it no more. If you're with a person and you don't trust them, don't be with them. Like, there is no point putting yourself through that. Me and Samuel have a lot of trust, I think. Anyway, on my part, he might tell you different. But I think we have a lot, a lot of trust. And you just shouldn't have, really, a trust issue with a person you're in a relationship with anyway, whether it's long distance or not. If you do trust them, don't doubt it, you know? You'll be so much stronger if you trust the person than if you don't. Just trust them and let them do what they want to do. Like, not with other people. Like in life, well, I'm just gonna move on. How to tackle the insecurity of a long distance relationship when you know your significant other is so popular and lovable. Now, I'm also gonna take this as how to do it when you know your significant other is good looking. I constantly do get a little bit paranoid um, about, you know, like someone trying to chat up my boyfriend. I do get paranoid about that, but that's just my insecurities. However, it doesn't mean that I don't trust him to like, just be like, excuse me, I'm sorry, I have a girlfriend, please stop, kind of thing, you know what I mean? So no matter how good looking your boyfriend or girlfriend is, it shouldn't matter because if, you know, if they love you, they're not, they're not gonna, you know, um, care if anyone else is trying to chat them up or whatever. It's again, just back to trust. Don't worry about it. And I need to take my own advice here. Another thing, long distance relationships aren't all buttercups and flowers and roses you argue and when you argue it's not just like an arguing in each other's presence because it's like over the text or over phone and nothing ever comes across the same way on text or on call as it does in person when you're in a long-distance relationship 
and you're stressed out about something that could be completely irrelevant to, with the relationship, sometimes you just seem to take it out on the person because they're there, but th it doesn't mean you should give up on it. Because even though maybe arguments at long distance might be worse, um, it doesn't mean it's not going well or it doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean it's, you know, a failed long distance relationship. That's just how relationships happen. People fight, people argue. Something I always think as well is let the long distance relationship be the escape. Let that be the happy part of your life. Whether it's surrounded by stress and stuff and you're just in the middle of it at university, let that tiny little thing, that little, um, you know, text or FaceTime in the night, let that be the happy part. Let that be the escape. Let that be the little bubble. Yeah, just calm down. Like, let that be the happy part. Don't take anything out on that. So another question was, was it a struggle at the start? Um, I would say for the first few, you know, kind of like days or weeks, it was a bit weird because like I say, we'd been spending so much time together over the summer holidays um, that to go from like seeing each other every day or every other day to not was like, was quite hard. And then I think we just kind of got used to it and um, yeah, it, it got easier from there, I guess. How do you handle fights during a long distance relationship? Again, I linked on this earlier, um, but if you are very stubborn, me and Samuel are both very stubborn, and if you, you you know you're having an argument and you know it's never gonna end, it's just gonna carry on going because you're both just like, you, you both don't wanna give in, um, try and just have a little bit of a break. Like, I don't mean a break in the relationship, just like, don't talk to each other for a few hours or something until you calm down and come round. Uh, it's not so easy as just being able to give someone a hug and then it's all okay again, because obviously you can't. Yeah, just try to solve the problems like as fast as possible and just move on. Don't be stubborn. If I, if I could give me and Samuel one piece of advice, it's just stop being so stubborn because it's really annoying for us both to be like that because we just want arguments and stuff to end, but you can't when you're both like, I wanna win, I wanna win, I wanna win. I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. But the way to see it is there's much more important things um, than the tiny little arguments you have. And it literally might be over something stupid like trying to book a train to see each other. Long distance should always be a good thing and not a bad thing. So many people see long distance relationships as a bad thing and like, oh gosh, wow, you're in a long distance relationship. That's going to be tough. Why? Why does it have to be tough? I mean, it should be seen as a good thing that two people are you know love each other so much that they're willing to not see each other for a certain period of time to, to keep it going because they don't want to you know i always say i'd much rather see sam once a month than not have him at all i mean i know a lot of people can't can't manage it and that's just how it is but don't put down the people who can manage it and expect them to you know break up and just be counting down the days until you know when you're finally right and they break up because you know if someone breaks up with someone um on a, in a long distance relationship chances are it's not even because of the distance chances are it's because you're just not right together um you know when, when two people break up from a non-long distance relationship nobody goes like oh we we're all waiting for that to happen we knew that had happened because they live far too close you know there's a lot of benefits of being in a long distance relationship that you don't get being in a non long distance relationship. So there's just some really bad stigma around it and it needs to be completely demolished. And everyone just needs to like stop being nicer to long distance relationships because they're actually quite goddamn good. So that is everything for this tea with soap today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you've learnt something or you've been given some advice if you were looking for it or if. Uh, you're potentially going into a long distance relationship or if you're already in a long distance relationship. I'm not an agony aunt or the queen of advice, but um, hopefully you learnt something. And even if you're not in a long distance relationship, maybe you gained something from this for a non-long distance relationship or just for life in general or future relationships. And if you love your partner enough, you will do it easily. I'm still trying to persuade Samuel to do the boyfriend tag with me, um, hence why I didn't really include lots of details about our relationship and stuff because I'm hoping we will do that sometime in the future. So yes, I really hope you liked this guys, give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family, you are welcome here any goddamn time and I will see you on Sunday for a weekly vlog. Love you lots guys, bye!